Hi, Gary Olson. Welcome to the studio. I just got back from Farmer's Market just moments ago, and uh, I found the third subject for my Farmer's Market triptych, which is three panels dedicated to just the wonderful people who are denizens of Farmer's Market and make that just a wonderful experience here in Dubuque, Iowa. And the guy was selling kohlrabis. Here he is. His name is Tom. And he was at 13th and Iowa Streets. So I walked by, caught his eye, and I said, say, uh, my name's Gary Olson. I'm an artist, and uh, I'm working on a project. I wonder if you'd be interested in participating in it. And I think I took him by surprise, quite frankly. He had a look of incredulity on his face, but I love it. And uh, we're gonna have the kohlrabis in the foreground. And it'll be like the other two pieces, uh, similar in format, straightforward, no nonsense. And uh, so let's get started, what do you say? Well, here's my sketch, and it's very loose and very spontaneous. I want to show you the foreground. I, I, I didn't draw any detail in the kohlrabis at all. All that will be solved in the final work. This is Blair Low Odor Spray Fixative. I use this to fix the drawing onto the canvas because, as you know, we paint over the top of that drawing a thin layer of acrylic paint which serves as our underpainting. So I got this at the hardware store. Love that pistol grip. I've already sprayed it once or twice, so a third time is going to further fix the drawing so that when I paint that purple underpainting over the top of that drawing, just a thin wash. I'm not rubbing away at the drawing. Because I use a, a 4B pencil, and uh, you know, that graphite can easily be washed away <laughs> if you're too aggressive in getting that underpainting on board. Okay, let's let that dry. And while it's drying, let's go over our palette, shall we? Here are the flesh tones I use to model a face. We have white, titanium white on the left, followed by raw sienna followed by burnt umber, and followed by burnt sienna. Those four colors right there combine various shades of the face, the highlight and mid-tones. And then I have a little touch of orange. That orange helps warm up those colors just a little bit. And I can modulate that warmth if I want to show uh, flesh tones that are uh, illuminated by warm sunlight, for example. The shadow areas on the face are modeled by these three colors. I have alizarine crimson, followed by ultramarine blue, and purple. Now, the first two colors, the uh, crimson and the ultramarine blue, are combined to create a very strong tinting color that I can use uh, combined with the flesh tones that I've mixed to the left on the palette, and uh, I can create some nice soft to dark shadows. That purple I use to kind of illuminate some of the details in the shadows that I might want to uh, highlight. And uh, it's just a, a marvelous color. And uh, it looks great in the shadow areas as uh, the painting progresses.
right, we finished our figure for our study. And right here is uh, my palette for the kohlrabis. We have sap green. We have titanium white. We have to also do some modeling colors, some shadow areas. And I've got a little Payne's gray there for that. I'm going to probably add a little purple, too. Uh, and uh, there's a little lemon yellow and some yellow okra right there. Those are the colors we're going to use for the vegetables in the foreground. By the way, the detail on these kohlrabis are just a bunch of circles in the foreground. I'm going to paint them freehand. I'm just going to uh, paint what I think looks like a kohlrabi and, and go from there. That's how I did the onions on the onion cellar, and uh, it should work similarly here. Uh, that's what I love about this type of painting, because uh, you really kind of get into the mix, so to speak. It's very liberating. You're not following a specific uh, line or drawing and coloring it in, you know. If that's the case, I'd be doing coloring books. But in this particular case, we're just painting and we're kind of freestyling. It's the Kohlrabi guy. Well, I really love it. It's Tom there, who, by the way, I think I'm going to see him this Saturday at Farmer's Market. I'm going to bring a, a photograph of the painting along with him and see if it meets his uh, approval. And I just love how it turned out. I think it's one of the best portraits I've done in a long time. And uh, I love the Kohlrabis. They look positively three-dimensional. Now, as you might recall, we didn't have much of a sketch there. It was just circles and uh, we let the brush uh, do the talking. And uh, instead of coloring a drawing, which uh, would be kind of tedious, instead we use brush technique to kind of get the detail we wanted. And really, is it detail? No, it's the impression of detail. That's what impressionists do. They paint how light falls across an object. And then the viewer 
fills in the details. Well, thanks for joining us this time in Gary Olson's studio. We had a great time with this painting. And uh, I got to go buy more paint and uh, some other supplies. So uh, we'll see you next time on Gary Olson's studio. <laughs>